This is an Ajax Heritage Minute. This is a minute about your town. History is everywhere and our first stop is the Quaker Meeting House in Pickering Village, built in 1867. It's one of the few remaining meeting houses in the province and it represents the Quaker settlement which once stood here. Timothy Rogers bought 800 acres in the Devons Creek area in 1807 and established a new settlement. The first meeting house would have been a simple wooden structure similar to this one in Newmarket. In 1867, they replaced the earlier structure with a new brick meeting house. American classical revival in style, it is a symmetrical unadorned structure which reflects Quaker beliefs of simplicity, modesty and kindness. Notable features are the common bond red brickwork, round-headed windows, and semicircular arch transom panel. In 1908, the meeting house was struck by lightning, destroying the roof. The original roof was replaced with this Dutch gable roof which remains today. At that time, the pressed metal ceilings and moldings were added, and Pennsylvania Quakers donated the chestnut benches now located in the Masonic meeting room. Timothy Rogers, his wife, and several of his 21 children and many other Quaker families are buried in the Friends Cemetery across the street. The Rogers Communication family are ancestors of Timothy Rogers. With the decline of the Quaker population, the local lodge of Freemasons purchased the building in 1942, continuing the building's long history of community use. In 2015, the town of Ajax purchased and restored the building, creating a fully functional meeting space with modern facilities in half of the building and a unique Masonic hall in the other half. In Quaker traditions, men and women worshipped together, but their meetings were in separate rooms. This was the men's meeting room. Heritage fixtures have carved Masonic symbols, a special layout, and an atmosphere provoking introspection. These days, the lodge is a service club, rich in tradition and ceremony. The modern meeting facility in the other half of the building was the Quaker women's meeting room. It now boasts modern open spaces and the latest in energy efficiencies. This is the first stop on our heritage tour. Be sure to visit this website again as we uncover the history of Ajax.